Okay, so we just left Tractor Supply. And this, I will say, is one of my favorite Tractor Supply locations. And, uh... Buna, Texas Tractor Supply, right? <laughs> yeah, so this is one of our favorite locations. Go in there for T-Post clips, you know, and leave, uh... Hundred and... Well, you have to hold it up because I can't really see. Hundred and, what, $39 later, but... But we did score... 60 chicks for a dollar a piece. Yes. Make sure you show it again. Yeah, we got 60 chicks. And I will say that they're not... Yeah. So, of the 60 chicks, we got um, Corners Cross. But we also got pullets for a dollar a piece. So, total score. Those are normally about $3.99 each. Some places you can get them for a little bit less. But they're typically... Uh, typically four dollars and the meat birds are usually about 269 unless you're getting them around the same size that we are which is after they're about a week old um, and you can sometimes find a good deal whenever they are uh, like overstocked I guess you'd say and so they have like three at least three different breeds that they were saying in the back that they're gonna be ready to put out so they do rotate them so sometimes you can get a really good deal so we got black Australor we got Cornish Cross. Um, what are the ones we got? Some Golden Phoenix that are the really pretty ones. Look them up. Uh, yes, and some Easter Eggers. But look up the Golden Phoenix. Those are the ones that the rooster has the really long, pretty tail. So, we got 10 of those, 10 Easter Eggers, 5 uh, Black Australorps, and then the rest, Cornish Cross. So, total score. Um, we also got two bags of meat bird food. And how many t post clips do we get? Okay, so it was eight fifty pound, uh, fifty count, or five twenty nine. Because earlier he was talking about it, he wasn't sure if it was fifty or hundred. So for um, five twenty nine, you get a, a fifty pack. So not bad, one hundred thirty nine dollars for sixty chickens alone <laughs> would have been, you know, if you do the math on. Let's see, we got ten, twenty five. So we got twenty five. So if you do the math, what is it? Twenty five times four dollars a piece is what hundred dollars right there. And then if you birds, an average of three dollars a piece for 180 bucks. So. Well, if you did the twenty, if you did the hundred dollars, so we got just, chickens and we got free, free T post clips, uh, free meat bird food today because <laughs> we got sixty. Because it's all if you're at the right piece. place at the right time. So sometimes we go in there, you know, and they don't One have the any. Why it's our favorite type of supplies. They know that we take care of our birds, and they take care of their birds. And That's a very big, birds. big reason why we like them. Heard of, and of course, you hear on Facebook and everything, and you actually see yourself some places. Some stores, not even just Tractor Supply, but other feed stores in, as well, um, don't their employees may not know about the type of animals that they have because they're hired as you know, cashier or stock, stocking stuff, stuff like that. And so, you know, the Chicken when, Whisperer at a Tractor Supply is a special, we call them special employees, where they, they actually they can identify extra, the animals, they take that extra little bit of time or whatever to focus with the chickens and stuff because uh, they understand that you know people people like us do care about quality chickens and you know our meat birds they have a really 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 great life uh, we know the food that they eat they're out on grass uh, they're out on grass uh, they do eat uh, meat bird food and uh, just from the beginning them, and then we put them on the layer pellets we slow them down and we put them on 16 percent protein layer pellets so we get the can, mini pellets yeah usually yeah. We, I mean, and, it depends uh, on where we go. Mini pellets, so which we've only been able to find in tractor supply. Um, yes, but if we go to like break our local feed store, then we will get just regular pellets, and they do fine with that. You know, as, as they're a little bit bigger, and they're out on grass, so they're eating grass and bugs, and they're active, which is a big part of it. So we know that they're healthy, and they have good but, life. One bad I day, saying, you know. They have you know, good, a really, really good life for you know an average of eight to twelve weeks they get the processing weight and then uh, they have one bad day. Yeah. And, uh, so. so if we got, let's say we got 25 regular chicks, so out of the 60 that would be how many meat birds? Sounds like 35. 35 yeah. So 35 times 2 it's 269, but 35 times 250, you know, would have been what? Yeah. You know, so that plus so the $100 that it would have been for the times baby chicks. would have been 25 
paid 139 and you know so that was yeah and the t-post clips we got eight um there were 529 each which was 42.32 and the two bags of new work was 16.79 right process to be ag exempt um so you know we have we have teenage boys you know and the way the the world is especially right now you know anytime that we can sit there and raise our own food and know where it's coming from and be able to rely on knowing that our family's going to be fed and taken care of you know well, the other thing is is when i'm processing the meat i make sure that i take extra time to be delicate because it is the food that we raised and since we did give them that good quality of life we don't want to mm -hmm. tear a wing or a drumstick or anything like that you know, we want to let them go to resting you know and then when they rest for two days in their refrigerator you know that's that's us you know kind of paying an homage to the bird or whatever and saying hey you know thank you for providing for our family and mm -hmm. to this day it's still the first one that i process every year for each time i pray, I pray for that one and the rest of them all at once and it still breaks breaks my heart to do what i have to do to feed my family but in the end you, you gain a gain of more appreciation for what you're eating whenever you you know when you do it yourself i used to drive an 18 wheeler so i've been to the tyson chicken plants in uh, arkansas and the, the the way that they feed their birds they feed them like 30 percent protein food for four weeks first 
um, the first Cornish cross that we got, they didn't have bullets, you know, to to look at, you know, like we had them in a different setup. Yeah, they didn't know how to how to be chickens. And we've seen, you know, as we've been able to get more and more infrastructure in place, and this, I mean, we've only been here, you know, since March, and this is July, so, I mean, it's only going to get better and better. Four in a week. Yes. Um, but we've Actually, seen... it's about four months today because we didn't really get things landed until for about another week mm -hmm. after we bought the property or whatever, so, yeah. Yeah, but we've Took seen a such a difference with the, the, the meat birds being raised with other, like, regular pullets, regular chickens that they they take on a different personality they actually run around and act excited and you know they're not they're not just wanting to sit in front of their their food all day which is the typical behavior that most people associate with Cornish Cross you know so and we've had Cornish Cross and Freedom Rangers and in the future we are going to do a video about you know comparison about those um, and in fact we may even get some at the same time and raise them together you know raise them and, and do Kind of a side by side, just to let you we'll know before. Yeah. Where we can, can show the growth of one batch versus another batch that we get at the same time or something. Mm -hmm. and these chickens that are um, provided by Tractor Supply come from Hoover Hatchery. Mm -hmm. um, we have gotten some chickens from other places. We've gotten some from an auction uh, at the Gore Family Auction Center in a little north of Silsby, Texas. Yeah, we just need a place to have the ducks so that they can lay their eggs and, um, and 
to sit on their eggs, the, the ones that yeah. want to. Because in our coop and run, we do have uh, we have we sand. Them to, you know, to be able to. And the ducks you know, would have made that hardy mess. Let them, let them free range or whatever, and they can go on our pond mm -hmm. that we have. Once we uh, do a little more investigation and figure out what all is in our pond, we're gonna um, clean it out. Just like the over, we may get some, overgrowth. We may get some fish or whatever that will eat the vegetation that's in there, so the grass that's growing. It might be superficial grass where it's only on the surface, but uh, we haven't been able to really fully look into the pond. Yeah. Um, the previous owners didn't, uh, um, maintain I guess they didn't it. maintain it. That's, that's the easiest way to explain yeah. it. Um, and uh, it could have been due to their schedules and, and we, we don't really Yeah, know. it was maintained before. We know that the people that lived there prior to that, um, but you know, it's, it, they yeah. didn't so have... If you know didn't... anybody that knows about ponds or whatever, <laughs> we're, uh, we're open to suggestions on what we need to do to get it cleaned up trimmed up um, so that it's a little more inviting for our ducks, a little more inviting for us to, you know, stock it with some fish and then uh, also, you know, use that as a way to also raise our own fish. So. All right, well, we're about to pull up to the house. We're going to have to um, get these new baby chicks um, checked out. You, you check out a baby chick when you first get them for pasty butt and, um, if they have pasty butt, of course, get that clean, cleaned up because if they have pasty butt and you don't take care of it, it can kill them because it, can't poop. Yeah, it blocks them from being able to go to the bathroom. And we're going to get them set up with their food and water and um, then get started probably on our evening tours with the animals. And I guess you got a break for the rest of the night from putting the fence up. Lucky you. But we'll get back on that tomorrow morning. Tractor supply trip. <laughs> Swiping that car just took it out of me. <laughs> Alright, we'll talk to you later.